This, this is the connector that was on my Yaesu 891. It's been broken for many years and whenever I went to plug in my radio, this would push in inside the body. This is the new Anderson power pole connector for my Yaesu 891. This was designed by Delta Golf 7 Papa X-Ray, also known as Pulp on Air on Thingiverse. I'll leave a link in the description to download these files so you can 3D print them yourself. So big thank you to Pulp on Air. I also wanna give a big thank you to my friend Evan, W8KJR, for printing me some of these. Uh, we didn't know about the mirror printing, so I had to have my friend uh, Ryan, KF8IV, uh, reprint these for me. So thank both of you uh, for making this possible without you guys. I wouldn't have this on my radio and I'd still have a broken connector. So today on this video, I'm going to show you how to install this awesome Yaesu FT891 uh, 3D printed power pole replacement for your power connector. So let's dive right in. But before we do, smash that like button, hit the subscribe, share it, follow me on Twitter at K8MRD, all that stuff. So let's dive in. Okay, so the parts we're gonna need, obviously we're gonna need our 3D printed power pole housing. And I do wanna note, when you're printing these, this part here, uh, there's only a file for one of these. You need to print a mirrored version of this. Otherwise, they will not match up. It's very, very important. Read the instructions. Mirrored version, okay? We need our red and black Anderson Power Pole housing. We're gonna need a couple, I'm gonna use 30 amp Anderson Power Pole uh, crimp thingy. I don't know what you actually call those. Phillips head screwdriver, some type of crimper. I have no idea what size these are or where I got them, but these are some screws that I had lying around, and these are what are actually gonna uh, screw these two parts together. I have a little parts tray just to keep everything organized. And some ring terminals. These are number four to number six stud uh, for 16 to 14 gauge wire. And obviously we need an 891. We're gonna start by removing the four screws on the bottom of the radio. Then we need to remove two screws on the side and flip her over and we have two more screws on the other side. Next we're gonna lay it on its back and we can slide the bottom cover off and set it aside. Now we have our positive and our negative terminal Simply unscrew this, set those aside. Now, if your connector is not broken like mine, you'll need to get some kind of needle nose plier to squeeze this bit here so you can push it in. And once you've done that, you're gonna simply remove that connector and maybe keep it around just in case you wanna replace it someday, who knows. Next, I've cut about two and a half inches of red and black wire, and we're gonna go ahead and crimp the ring connectors on. Next, we can go ahead and crimp our power poles onto the wire. Ta-da! Next, we wanna take the back of the housing with this kind of neural part or nub that's gonna face up, or really it'll be the, towards the bottom of the radio. But we need to go ahead and feed the wire uh, through before we put the power pole in its housing. I'm gonna put the red on the bottom and the black on the top. Now we can go ahead and insert them into the power pole housings. Beautiful. Next we can go ahead and slide the power poles into the port. And then we can go ahead and connect these guys. Now note that these are gonna conform to the radius of the radio here. So we need to make sure we're gonna match that. And these are uh, just gonna simply snap into place. Thusly. Now we can go ahead and insert these into power slot. It is a tight fit. Ooh. All right. Like such. Go ahead and bring whatever the heck we'll call that the back plate into place. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and screw that in nice and tight. Don't over tighten it so you strip the plastic. Just get it snug. And now we can connect our wires. And if you forgot, on the PCB it actually says red plus and black. So we can go ahead and connect our wires again. Go ahead and connect the black one first. And then the red. Just a like that. Now we can go ahead and put the cover back on, screw her all back together. And that's what we get. And now with any luck, we should be able to go ahead and plug in a regular Anderson power plug to the radio. Ooh, I just heard it click. Push our power button. Oh, and we're in business. Look at that. That is a happy power pulled radio right there. Now look at it. Doesn't it look so much happier that it's got this beautiful power pole mod on? Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you find this kind of content helpful, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share it. You can also follow me on Twitter at KMRD, and I'll see you again on another episode of KMRD Radio Stuff. 73, guys.